to Acting Department of Homeland Security Secretary Chad Wolf. Uh, Acting Secretary Wolf, you heard that quote from our president about the chaos in our cities. What's the Department of Homeland Security going to be doing about it? Well, thanks for having me on this morning. Certainly, we are taking a proactive approach in Portland where we are uh, in the midst of making sure that we have federal properties, including the courthouse there, safe and secure overnight. What we have seen in Portland is that the mayor has abdicated his responsibility there in letting these violent crowds form night after night, targeting that courthouse and our law enforcement officers. Um, so that's of concern to us, and we'll continue to protect that building. As we look at other cities that have violent crime, um, we're partnering with the Department of Justice uh, to look at what we can do there to target criminals, to target drug dealers, to target that violent crime that is plaguing many of our cities. And so as, uh, uh, you know, the largest law enforcement agency in the country, the Department of Homeland Security will, will certainly be a partner uh, with the Department of Justice as they um, surge assets uh, into certain areas. Well, uh, Acting Secretary uh, Chad Wolf, there's been uh, there's been a lot of bad behavior to go around and a lot of dereliction of duty, particularly among liberal mayors who allow these their own cities to descend into chaos. Uh, we've also seen a lot of lies. And one of the big lies is that law enforcement officers from the federal government are somehow these uh, uh, secretive, you know, black-clad criminals kidnapping innocent passers-by off the streets. Now, I'm looking at these guys. I'm seeing patches on their shoulders. How are these guys equipped so that, it, you know, so that uh, you know, our, our, our listeners understand what exactly is going on here and how this is a bunch of baloney? Yeah, I appreciate that question. So we have a number of officers in Portland, I think specifically is what you're referring to. These individuals, again, are guarding federal property on the courthouse. We only, we come out and we arrest individuals that are uh, either targeting law enforcement officers or are, are destroying property on that federal courthouse facility. That's the only time that we come out and we engage the crowd. We do that usually over the past 52 days between the hours of midnight and 4.30 a.m. So I would, uh, <laughs> I would challenge, we're not seeing a lot of peaceful protesting at that hour of the day. Well, look, when well, I want to peacefully protest, I get up at about 1 o'clock in the morning, I throw on my black balacava, I grab a bat and uh, you know a Molotov cocktail, and I go down to make my peaceful statement. What, 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 but seriously, what are our federal law enforcement officers facing in terms of the enemy's tactics and equipment? Sure. So every night, uh, our federal law enforcement officers there face anywhere uh, between a thousand or more violent protesters, I would say violent rioters, uh, that have bats, have uh, incendiary devices, Molotov cocktails, have accelerants. We'll pour that on the plywood there at the courthouse, set it on fire. They have lasers, they have rocks, they have bricks, they have any number of other hard objects that are being hurled and thrown at them every single night. Um, we're making arrests, but we cannot do this alone. We need city officials to step up to the plate and make sure that these individuals that are doing this, by the way, are congregating across the street from the courthouse uh, on city property. We need the city officials to go in there and make sure that they cannot continue to do this night after night after night. They go to the same place every night. They do this night after night. Uh, and we need them to step up. We need them to secure their cities and be a partner with us. And again, let me reemphasize, we're not talking about peaceful protesting. We do see that in Portland. That usually dissipates and ends around 9.30, 10 o'clock at night. We have no concerns with that. They can march in any street they want to. City allows that. What we're talking about are violent criminals that are using the, the, the narrative that they're peaceful protesters uh, doing this at 3.30 in the morning and 4.30 in the morning. That's just not accurate, and it needs to be covered as such. Uh, acting DHS Secretary Chad Wolf, uh, what we saw in Chicago on video was uh, uh, Chicago cops being ambushed, uh, subject to a hail of uh, objects and horrible, horrible abuse. There's, but, but Chicago has other problems, too. Basically, crime is out of control, so you kind of have two threats there. You have these rioters, and you have the crime out of control because the Democrat mayor refuses to 
unleash the Chicago police. We only have about 30 seconds. How can you address as a federal entity that second issue, that of regular street crime gone out of control by Democrat ineptitude? Like I said, we have about 15, 20 sure. seconds. Here. So we're certainly partnering with the Department of Justice, who has a little bit more authorities when we talk about sort of the normal uh, crime that you talk about in Chicago. And so we are adding to them. We have a number of law enforcement officers and criminal investigators that look at illegal narcotics, look at these gangs every day. So we can certainly step up and do that. But again, it comes back to this environment that these uh, city officials are fostering. Uh, well, Secretary uh, Chad Wolf, I really appreciate you coming on here. And I want you to know the Hugh Hewitt audience backs the blue 100%. I'm Kurt Schlichter, guest host for Hugh Hewitt. We will be back tomorrow. I'll see you then. Thanks a lot.